So friends, if you have an account in HDFC Bank but you don't know how to do IMPH transfer using HDFC Bank application, then this video is for you. I am going to guide you through each and every step but before that, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now the very first thing you have to do is just simply open HDFC Bank application in your mobile phone and complete the login process. Now it doesn't matter if you are using an iPhone or an Android phone, the process is going to be same. Now once you are on the home page, all you have to do is just select money transfer option or select add payee option because without adding beneficiary account or payee account, you cannot do the transaction. But if you have already added the beneficiary account, then you can directly go to money transfer and then select add or manage pays. And on this particular page, you will be able to check out all the beneficiary account which you have added. But as I said, if you have not added any beneficiary account, you do get add payee option over here as well or else you can go to the home page and from there you can select add payee option. So let me show you just for example purpose. If you select add payee option on the next page, it will ask you to select uh, bank account, credit card or uh, cardless cash and this is the transfer type. So if you want to do bank account to bank account transfer, so you need to select bank account over here and in the next category, you need to select HDFC bank account or non HDFC bank account in India. So if you are adding an account which is of HDFC bank, then select HDFC bank account over here. But if you are adding an account which is of some other bank like ICICI, Kotak or uh, let's say uh, Indescent bank, then in that case, you can select the second option. So if I select the second option, uh, we need to enter the account details in which we need, uh, we need to enter name on the account. We need to uh, enter account number two times. You can select account type over here. You can search for IFSC code. And once everything is done uh, with using OTP, you can just simply add the beneficiary account in few minutes. I have already made a dedicated video on how to add a beneficiary account. You can go and check it out or I will try to uh, leave a link in description below. Also keep one thing in mind that after adding beneficiary account, it takes 30 minutes or one hour to uh, completely activate that particular account. And after that, you can start doing transaction. Now, once uh, the account is activated or the beneficiary account is active, again, you can simply go to money transfer option and this time go to add or manage space and you will be able to see that account over here. So simply select that particular account to do the transaction once you select the account uh, it shows you the account details then select transfer option and over here you need to enter the amount you can check out the date uh, and in transfer mode you need to select imps transfer so if i select imps then after that you can just enter remark and then continue with the transaction for now let's enter the amount so i want to transfer 4000 rupees i have entered 4000 over here and in remark I am going to enter test because I am doing this for testing purpose. You can see uh, now again NEFT is selected. So make sure before uh, selecting this continue option, IMPS option is selected. Now, if you are wondering what is the maximum uh, transaction limit for IMPS, then let me tell you that HDFC Bank allows you to transfer up to 5 lakh per transaction using IMPS method uh, when you use the beneficiary account number and IFSC code. So if you follow the same method, you can transfer up to 5 lakh uh, rupees per transaction and that's for a day. Okay, so yeah, let's hit continue option over here. Let me enter the test again. Now before uh, completing the transaction, you can cross verify each and everything and you can simply accept the terms and condition and then select confirm option. Now it will ask you to verify using OTP. So if you want uh, OTP on mobile number or email ID, you can choose that option. I want it on mobile number and I have selected mobile number. Let's select uh, continue and now just wait for the OTP. And once you receive OTP, enter it and then select continue option. So I have entered the OTP. Let's select continue option. And now you can see within few minutes, we have successfully completed the transaction. You can download the receipt. You can share it if you want. You can check all the details over here. So this is how simple it is to do IMPH transaction using HDFC bank application. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.